was here, she'd ask how the hell I can get lost in a place that basically has one road. Damn, I already miss San Francisco. And to wrap up this news report, we still have no information regarding Crystal Hugens, 23 years old, who disappeared from oh, I think I've been driving for five hours now. Yep, I'm doing it, Fog City. Cheating on you for the weekend. Oh, now that's heartwarming news. Thanks, Death Valley. Look out, Las Vegas. Jade Lacroix is on her way. It's too quiet without your constant meowing, Miss Silky Paws. Oh, black coffee. Would I still look human without you? <sighs> no more cigarettes. Sorry, Nils. There's no place to hide. What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, breathe. Relax. Oh, it was just a... a panic attack or something. Oh, you need to pull over. Oh, anywhere. Quick. Oh. Oh, at last. Oh, my back. Oh. That thing back there on the road. Oof. I don't want to think about it. Here you are, you fragile official proof of my existence. Nice sound. So, what now? Hello? Man, this guy looks like he's waking up from a ten-year nap. How old is he? He looks like he's got a I'm few lives under his belt. Guard. Pretty sure he's from around here. Probably grew up in this land. Poor guy. <laughs> Still might make a good character for my book. Okay. Now I hope he's not going to stare at my picture for too long. Well, about time. Enjoy your stay. Some pretty interesting things to see around here. Ooh, love the yellow tape. Really livens up the space. You've done a great job with this place. You're mine now. Jade's sacred place. Land of the Nap. Hey, bed. Can you make this day a distant memory? No more being tired. No more monsters. And, uh, while you're at it, how about a few ideas for my book? Or some instant money in my bank account. I must be dreaming already. Hey, Tara, you're here. It's our room in San Francisco. It's late. One of your sleepless nights. I'm so sorry for you. I'd give you some hours of my sleep if I could, baby. <sighs> Too bad these were never even able to help you sleep. I hate to see you pacing like an animal in a cage. I know how sad you get. Why can't I reach you? I wish I could touch you right now, warm you up, give you everything I got. Mm -hmm. 
San Francisco's still asleep outside. It's 4 a.m. I'm writing. You're counting the hours. Going nuts or what? Man, I really need to clear my head. Let me talk. You don't know what you've stepped into. The motel where you're staying was built on lies. It's dangerous, like this whole region. Some folks know, but they keep letting people come here. People like you. Leave as fast as you can. We don't call it Death Valley for nothing. Well, that was, uh, interesting. Absolutely not spooky. Everything's fine. Locked, of course. The key must be around here somewhere. Weird. I don't remember leaving the key there. I knew it was so stupid. Just me freaking out yet again. What's that? It's back. It's back. Shit, it saw me. no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. I have no idea what this means. Reminder, next time you leave yourself a reminder, remind yourself to be more explicit. Why would anyone want little John staring at them while they sleep? Oh, must be some useful stuff in there. Come on, Jade, you're supposed to have set this code. Okay, need to find it somehow. Hmm, a screwdriver inside a safe? Must be one expensive screwdriver. Oh, Tara, I miss you. It was so stupid to leave like that. got there, but my head hurts, and I don't care. It's time to get out of here. What's that? from. Oh, 
Okay, you did it. Holy shit! No, no, no! Focus, damn it! Come on! Oh no! Uh, no. Wait, that's the guy from the reception desk. Was that a dream? I need something to calm myself down. Coffee. No, not coffee. A cigarette. And now, a quick weather update any. from the National Weather Service. So we received news of a sandstorm currently rising in Sandstove Creek. Oh, it's the White House, my favorite bar. It's... Wow, it's the night I met Tara for the first time. You were so beautiful. I think that night when I saw you, I discovered how empty I was. How much space there was left for someone like you. You look at me. And then this eternal fear, this, this fear of the world, which is the only thing I know, this black fear that forces me to write, disappears. And there's only you. In your eyes, just a, a welcoming curiosity. I don't know it then, but in a few minutes we'll start talking and, and it will last for hours and, and then years. Still so full of you, Tara. The dream was too real. Damn, I need coffee. Empty. Story of my life. There's still a bit in there. Oh, I guess I'm saved. What the hell? Hey, what are you doing here? Feet are wet. This is not the time to do stunts on the damn tiling. They... They locked me in? What the... Where have I put the damn screwdriver? Good. Now let's try to think and... God, this is so sick. Uh, I can't fucking believe this. I drive 400 miles just to get burglarized in this hole? Well, luckily they weren't trying to steal my new manuscript, because uh, there isn't one. Must be that guy from the reception. Wesley something. He's got all the keys. Why lock me in? Even the paintings? Why? Huh. Well, looks like someone really didn't like these pictures. Who called me? Nobody knows I'm here. That guy again? The one from yesterday? It's detaching itself. Looks like there's something behind it. What is this, a door? In a damn closet? <sighs> Locked. What did you expect? It's me again. Listen, I can help you get away from this place. Stay away from that guy, Wesley Argos, the receptionist. He's involved, and he's dangerous. I'm waiting for you in the parking lot. I know what you're thinking, but the truth is I'm the only friend you have right now. Come right away, to the parking lot. Okay, this is getting better and better. Who is that guy anyway? And who are they? What the hell am I still doing here?
Dorothy missed the point. It's not on the walls. It must be behind it. Behind the frame. one of these parallel dimension things. Get dressed, Jade. This situation's awkward enough. No need to add to it by wandering around naked. I really hope that dude is not around anymore. Okay, time to come out of the closet. <laughs> the second time in my life. I've seen symbols like this. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, sounds like NASCAR and NASCA. Giant drawings in stone they found in Peru. Weird. Hmm. There's something going on here. A wooden key. I would have found this cute someplace else. Someone got their nose inside her suitcase. Probably the police. Oh, wow. It's an altar. Nice craftsmanship. Can't wait to open your secret little box, Crystal. This must be Crystal. The older woman must be her mother. The deceased still needs a piece. The last one, I guess. Some kind of key. Oh, wow. You'll never believe this, Tara. I figured out a riddle for once. Crystal Huygens. No doubt that's definitely her. All her stuff is still here. She clearly didn't just leave. This is so strange to disappear like that. be here. Huh. Well, this place definitely has interesting closets. In a world of keys, lest it be the ones that make you free.
Are you kidding me? Who's this son of a... that pervert again? Oh, this is messed up. Real messed up. No one's here. Oh, it's locked like all the other windows. Locked. No one's here. Locked. Am I the only one staying here or what? Okay, Jade. You can do it. Remember those electronics classes. Remember the fuse. That'll do the trick. That's it. Come on now. Fit the hell in there. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. This one... Is anything going to work, damn it? Yes! <laughs> Good. Now close yourselves already. Now! Faster! Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally finished it. Hey, look. I wanted to make you a deer, but I'm not very good at this. So it eventually turned out to be a dream catcher. It'll catch your most perverted dreams, too. You okay with that? Ever seen a dream catcher blush? You better love it. I put my whole heart into it. And some of my blood, too, because I cut myself when I made it. Should I put it here? That way you'll think of me whenever you see it. But keep your eyes on the road. It'd be too bad to end up in a cactus. <laughs> Dirty bed sheets. At the laundry room. Damn, it's cold. Or is it just me? Better get used to it. I'm not going back up there. Playing a rodeo on a working machine will probably end badly for me. I'm no bronc rider. Don't start staring at this thing, Jade. This is out of order. Oh, not well. Well, would you look at me, taming a wild washing machine in the middle of the desert. It's always the smallest things that stand in your way. Stubborn these machines can be.
So, one win in the game wins you one coin as a reward. Coins mean getting out of here. I guess I have no choice. It's not switched on. Technical skills never cease to impress me. Should work now. Sorry, little red Soviet plane. My life kind of depends on beating your ass. Yes! See, Tara? I'm pretty good at waging war for a pacifist. Something tells me these are not ritual symbols for clean laundry. Was Crystal here? An opening at the bottom of a washing machine? Okay, it's the only way out anyway. Coins to work, of course. Stupid button. Keep that, you greedy coin sucking monster. I hope it's okay now. I've got other stuff to take care of. Like leaving this place in one piece. It made a click. That's a good sign. sure I'm not supposed to see it. What kind of dirty stuff are they trying to hide in here? I can't believe it. They even stole Tara's picture from me. <gasps> it's me. They've got a file on me. I knew it. They say my stories are always about paranoia, but see, this is real. Things are not all right in this world. <sighs> what am I gonna do? Folders. That makes a lot of paper. Too far. Note for later, grow taller if you want to survive. Through the washing machine, a dark tale about Jade getting into deep shit. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to see it. What kind of dirty stuff are they trying to hide in here?
Nice. This may come in handy. Not a bad idea. Electricity. Okay, the path is clear. I should be able to get this ladder down. I should. Doesn't anything work around here? Hey, look, it needs some fuses. One more fuse to go. Trapdoor's free. There's your way out, girl. You just need to get to it. Okay, time to give some elbow grease. You see, he made it. Now get out of here, quick. You need to warn people. The cops, or the army, or whoever has a gun and is still sane. You maybe even write something about this if you survive. A bedroom? Ugh, it smells like nobody has ever opened a window here. Either this guy is a master cynic or a first-class patriot. Wow, that's one thriving bacteria farm. This is surreal. Looks like an official document. Hide the tape in a safe place. Okay, sure, but in a pizza box? Seriously? Hey, if this is a dream, would somebody please wake me up now? I think this guy has never even heard of water. This is Wesley Rifle Argos, cartridges. Ground Two Agent, huh, Code Six Five Eight. Some missing. Yes, they probably we've got a problem. The, at the, reception desk. the new girl, Jade Lacroix. She's pulling away from the path. No, no, she's restless. It's like she's running away she from carries. something. But I don't know what's happening to her. Wait, it's been a month since Crystal Hugens crossed the threshold, what and that's the too long. I'm no one. She's I'm got to go Not to the end of the writer. pilgrimage. Oh, Tara, Tara, what? Tara, Tara, listen, me. listen. 
I'm paid to do one job, and that's to make sure LaCroix gets to the destination. What do you want exactly? Another disaster like at 63? Yes, I'll take I care of it, but I'm gonna back need backup. There. Send Shouldn't Taylor. Really Someone might be helping the girl. <sighs> Makes me think of your horrifying sensationalist headline news. of the motel for years. What is this place? A giant peep show? Man, I am in deep trouble. Huh. It was only in sleep mode. Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail too, but oh, come on, Jade, just do it. Easy, like a hacker from one of those B movies. I've already seen this trailer around. He must belong to the guy putting up those missing persons posters. Well, since he's the only other person I've seen here. Hold on a sec. What if, what if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail, too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. Shit, this guy has turned his bedroom into a surveillance center. Must be Wesley's room. That guy from reception. Oh, God, this can't be true. It's my room. My stuff. Oh, oh God. He probably filmed me naked. Man. This guy's about to tear the desert apart. Four PM. That sky looks really pissed off. <laughs> Hope I haven't missed anything good. Safe way out of here. Think.
Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail, too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. Hold on a sec. What if... What if I call the phone booth? Yeah, that might work. It could fail, too, but... Oh, come on, Jade. Just do it. Here we go. The secret tape mentioned in the secret letter in the mysterious pizza box. Oh, great. Give me another reason to freak out. Onion, 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 onion,
Where's no the Wesley Argos. Oh, Ground two no. agent. This is main ground. No. This week's secured phone booth number is 512-399-899. I repeat, 512-399-899. We'll call you at 4 p.m. for your weekly debriefing about Jade LaCroix. Be there. They sound military, but like... twisted military. I'm being hunted. By my own country. In my own country. What do I do? Surrender's not an option, huh, Tara? Well, I can still use this to create some kind of diversion. Don't know who's writing this crazy story, but I better not die in it. Stay here. Gotta hurry. We like. That's him. He was putting up the missing hey! girl posters. You're oh, not safe here. Him. They're going to hurt you. You need to come with me. Hey! Come on, Jade. Right there. We need to get You're out going of here nowhere, now. You hear me? I have things you to can't tell leave. you. No, 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 I no, need no, Jade. You gotta trust me! Hurry! Oh, please, no, I don't wanna die! Am I still alive? Am I hurt? Oh, I guess not. Nice job back but there. He, oh my god, he got hit. Uh, uh. It was a close call. <coughs> it's okay. It's just... a hole, right? <sighs> Hugens. Gary Hugens. That's my name. I'm the one who called you. On the phone. We don't have much time. You're doing a good job anyway. You're resisting them. It drives them crazy. They're not used to it. We lost them for the moment, but they won't let you leave. Listen, this, all this, it's a very old story. No one wants to tell. The motel, this military base of the desert, the experiments they did back there in the 60s, Thousands of people who disappeared without a trace. <coughs> it's all connected. For a long time, I've thought the army was behind this. But no. It is way older. People go into the desert, never to be seen again. It's a sort of... pilgrimage, but with no return ticket. You think the government would try to stop this? <laughs> they just stand there watching. Making sure everything goes the way they want. It's Wesley's job! That pig!
He's in a state of shock. I need to find him water. person's posters. I can't imagine what Gary's going through. Gary must have spent a good load of time in here. It's all he has left. Get slapped around by a few billion grains of sand? Victims, Crystal. I know her story. Twenty-three years old. <coughs> her life was all about art, drawing. She learned from her mother, who was a painter. A normal passion for a normal girl. My little girl. Her mother died six months ago. I never managed to fill the void. I was demolished. I didn't see her slip away from me. Now she's gone. I lost them both. But that's how it works, you see. The people who come here, they all lost something. Someone. They felt the call. <coughs> and I feel it too, deep inside. Me and you, we're here for a reason. But you need to keep fighting. Life is worth it. Come on. Oh, damn, he's heavy. Remember, Jane, you learned once. You know how to do this. Come on, Gary. I've never seen someone die, and I don't plan to now. No, stay with me, Gary. Stay. I need to thank you. <sighs> There's something in the desert. Don't go there. Leave. Get as far away as possible from this place. Oh, it's so dark here. I... I... I know that sound. It's my book. 
The one I wrote for Tara. I was afraid. More afraid than for any other book. Because she matters more than anything. She read it out loud. And in her mouth, the words finally found their shape. Oh, Tara. These machines and tubes like strings turning you into a puppet. I hate them. I hate all this because I can't do anything about it. Because nothing my imagination can create will save you. How you doing today? I've seen the doctor. He told me you're doing better. He says you're fighting it all right, baby. And you're kicking ass. You're my badass, honey girl. so sorry. How did it end like this? I hope you found your father. He's a good guy. Door's locked. There must be a key somewhere. Nothing. sign of a key. That's the year the experiment to this special ground too began. Huh. An important date in the history of bad ideas. The worst seems to have passed. There's no key on him. This must be it. Okay. Be brave, Jade. You're not a little girl anymore. Huh. No one. I thought... Well, at least the storm's gone. Need to find the road now. Oh, God, I'm exhausted. I want to disappear into your arms, Tara. I, well, I wasn't expecting this, but... It's better than square miles of sand, I guess. Wait, I... I recognize this. It's Tara's Dreamcatcher. It belongs in my car. Why is it here? relative. What is this? A bunker? That smell? Ugh. <sighs> you found yourself another lovely place, girl. It looks abandoned. It smells like old chemical stuff. I might be poisoning myself right now. Huh. <laughs> Just another casual hike through the desert. Are you locked? Why don't you just trust me? Mm. 
one small key for me, but one huge step forward towards freedom. I hope. And that's it. Look who is hiding in there. William T. Davis, physicist. <laughs> Ooh, you are a real smoker. Still smells of tobacco. Just like in sci-fi movies, except I could really die on this one. Where am I? I've got no map. You're supposed to be my map, Tara. You always have been. Lost. I can barely feel my legs. Damp sand, like a vicious caress under my feet. <sighs> Got to keep going. It's a cemetery. Not Christian. Native American. Timbisha? I don't mean to disturb anybody, just passing through. are old. They're pretty loose. This is no time to get a splinter in my finger. That kind of stuff makes me faint. Here we are. Wesley knows about this place. It's the heart of everything. I hope he's not after me. Electrified. They apparently don't want anybody to go beyond this point. Except the ones who have no other choice. Okay, no more chance of my frying my butt on that fence. Got to get to the end of this thing.
done. Time to get to the other side. Not sure the grass will be greener there, but uh, hey. At least sand is equally disappointing from wherever you look at it. So this is special ground too. Looks like this place was really confidential back then. Before they all ran away from it. Why? Gary said they messed up. Whatever it was they were doing here, they decided to stop interfering and keep watching from the motel. <laughs> Introducing Wild Rifle Wesley. Off you go. Instructions. This might be useful. They were studying this place, upsetting it. Did they create that thing that's been following me? Woke it up by mistake? Or on purpose? Did they think my life was so boring that it needed something like this? This is the beginning of something. Wow, did I do that? Must mean power's coming back soon. have the same indicators. This must control them. Electronically, just needs a good old key. The doors have the same indicators. This must control them. Same indicators. This must control them.
unlocked now. They say that only he who already knows what's behind the door has the right to open it. Me? I don't have a clue. I say who cares, let's go. This stuff is too much, even for me, and man, have I written weird things, but this... Wait, if ground two is there, what are those other spots? Russia? Africa? Okay, later. Nicholas Leo, geologist. Tiny black spots on this one, is it ink or some weird alien substance? do with all this.
Baby? Tara, is that really you? Or is it one of those dreams? Please don't vanish. I'll try to get to you. So this is why people come here. This is where they go. Jade? It's me, baby. Tara. I never wanted to hurt you, you know. It's you. Your fear did this. It turned me into a monster. I hate this thing. But it's gonna be okay now. I know. You were afraid. By running away from me, you were running away from the past. Now you can see the truth with wide open eyes, and we can be together again. I won't abandon you this time, I promise. It's a crater, you know. It's extraordinary what it does. I was floating into darkness, and then it made me come back for you, Jade. Okay, you decided to make a monster of me, but hey, nobody's perfect. The crater is not a bad thing. It's a door. A thousand doors, actually. It doesn't kill. It just changes the way things are. It's gonna be all right. We can still be together. But you need to trust me. I know it's not easy after all that's happened, but... Let's leave all this madness behind. The dark days are over. It's a new life. You just have to follow me. It's now, babe. It's your call. No, no, I don't want to be here. Stop messing with my head, whatever you are. Stop it. You hated being photographed, but when I took this one, you said nothing. You knew you were about to go, and only this would remain of you. A frozen picture on paper. Oh, I... oh no, Tara, no. Wake up, please. It's just a dream, do you hear? It's a trick. A lie. It can't be. Oh, I need you to be alive. Oh, come back, please. I need you. I was the one living in a dream, Tara. A dream where you were still alive. Now the dream is ended. It's time to wake up to a new world. Everything here, here I am. In the heart of ground, too. So this was what the fog was hiding. Tara called it a crater. Did something fall from the sky here? It's unreal, Tara. I... I'm sorry, but I'm kind of terrified right now. I guess there's no turning back. No? Yeah, I knew that. Is that a nuclear bomb? Is it still active? Carrie said the army messed up with the crater. They wanted to seal it, but... Wes seemed to fear the fact that pilgrims wouldn't keep coming here. And that that would have consequences, like it happened in 1963. But I'm here now. What's gonna happen to me? 
you still love me, Tara? Even like this? Well, I guess it doesn't matter what you are. I loved you as a memory, as a dream, even as a ghost. I guess this is what truly drives a pilgrim in the end. Love. Okay, girl. I'm coming with you. Show me more. Many things break in our lives all the time. And I'd like to say that there's no need to be afraid. Yet, if nature is constantly trying to fill the absence of light, doesn't that mean it knows fear? Fear of emptiness? Of what is not? That's what makes Special Ground 2 so special. It's a constant hole in reality. A never-ending beginning. Today, I still have doubts that all this really happened. I just know it's okay to be afraid. And I'm sure of one thing. This world has many special grounds. And one day or another, we'll go. Hey, I need your ID card. No ID, no room. Still no news of Jade LaCroix, the 36-year-old woman who disappeared one month ago during a sandstorm in the Sandstove Creek area, Death Valley. <sighs> Poor girl.